this is the power ready slider for the F150, F250, and F350. We're gonna show you how to connect your original regulator cable onto the new glass. First, you have to uh, make sure when you remove the original cable from your old glass, mark which side is the cable connected to because the cable has a longer length and a shorter one. So make sure before you remove it, label it. Also, before you remove the entire glass, make sure you open the center glass about two to three inches so the cable can be loosened it won't be as tight and it's easier for you to pull out the cable so just like us open two to three inches so if your centerpiece is broken um, that's not a problem as well you just need to press the power button to open the track like open pretend you're opening the centerpiece so this is the inside view of the new glass um, and this is where you um, connect the cable so first you have to loosen the screw um, first so take out the screw both on both sides okay so remove both screws first and then take one side of the cable and connect it basically insert it into the hole right next to the center glass and snap the um what do you call that the yeah the cable uh connector and tighten tighten it with the screw that you took out once you connect one side of the cable push the glass over so you can pull the cable and the spring should be inside the hole right here it should look like that make sure the spring point to it please the spring make sure it's inside the hole tighten like this because if you let the spring uh, loose uh, stay outside like that the cable can get tangled um, as you open the the slider a couple of times, it'll get tangled for We're sure. We're gonna connect the other side, so it's the same concept. You insert the cable end to the hole and snap the plastic tab um, onto the track. It's the same side as the uh, the right hand side or the left hand side, so it's connected. And now you just have to tighten the screw to uh, tighten the cable. So the cable is connected right now. And as far well as the regulator, yes. make sure it's the same thing. Make sure the squink is inside, inside the hole, just like how we have it. So in the future, it won't tank down. We're testing it. It's connected and um, it's ready to install. The window is working. That means the regulator is connected properly. And then last, you have to put the cover. Uh, so we put the cover for the heater element right next to it. We purposely put it next to it. So when you're done with the cable connection, um, take this cover and put a little bit uh, urethane glue around it and apply it here apply it to cover the heater element um, just for the look um, the, the center glass we just want you to see that the heater element is connected on the center glass so uh, this is the cover for it original uh, slider it has this uh, short cable wire. Con uh, short wire that connects to the centerpiece uh, that the cable power. is not needed because the factory one they use a, a wire to connect power, power to the centerpiece 
but yes. on our slider it's very clean we we design it to connect heat through the heater element so the centerpiece uh, it's uh, really connected when as you can it see close. once it's close it's connected so this little um little wire, wire. So, is no longer needed i know a lot of customers ask so that cable is There's not also needed. another cable below the track on the original this cable is not needed as well um yeah this extra cable from the factory one okay. our, our slider is so uh, is it's all it. connected it's it's pretty much hidden inside the track so once you connect the regulator cable uh, connect the two end cable uh, the the heated elements are all connected on the slider so it's very clean so on our slider you only need to connect the the heat through one uh, connector the, on both ends to the car and the entire slider is connected um, the other end has the same connector as well so that's it more easy, more lengthy than now.